Hey, what is going on everyone? How's it going my fellow collectors? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this not so newly released figure of Hot Toys. It has been with me like for a few months already and I remember I was sick after I picked up some figures including this one and I didn't get a chance to open it right away, you know me. <laughs> and finally, I'm excited to share with you guys this one and this is none other than R2-D2 from the Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones 20th Anniversary Special. MMS 65116 scale collectible figure and before we start if you are new here to our channel please consider to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to get notified once I upload a new video especially hot toys okay without further ado let's dive in all right so this is the art box the standard art box for star wars figures of hot toys black box and the picture of the figure right there r2d2 and some logos at the bottom the hot toys and the 20th anniversary and of course it has some dents on the upper part because you know it's not aligned to the main art box i mean the middle art box but i think it's totally fine not really a big deal you know those scratches i mean like still looks clean you know still pretty neat Okay, now let's slide it out the main art box so we can see how it looks like. And there you go, absolutely beautiful, especially the colors, you know, that vintage style. And those high quality print, those stickers, absolutely fantastic. For sure, not just only me, a lot of Star Wars collectors out there really loving this design, you know, vintage look. Okay, um, you could also open the front part. You can see right away what's inside the box and I would say absolutely beautiful packaging right there very neat presentation of the accessories and the figure absolutely fantastic okay i'm really excited to share with you guys this figure so let's take it out okay so this is the instruction sheet and what i really love on this one it has a poster inside which is absolutely fantastic even though it's just a simple one like a black and white print still looks great you know to add that extra picture of the attack of the clones right so it's kind of like nostalgic look for this kind of instruction sheet right Okay, first up right here is the batteries. Next up is the acrylic stand or base, you know, for flying poses of R2-D2. And then next up right here is the accessories, which is the arms or different arms of R2-D2. Some of it has a magnetic function, the details and paint job. I think it looks great. And also all of it are made out of plastic materials. And this one right here is some kind of like piece that we're going to attach to the leg of R2-D2. And then next up right here is the kind of like a fire thruster effect on the side of R2-D2 for some flying poses. And then this one right here, I believe this is the one that you're going to attach to the back of R2-D2 to pull the head of C-3PO. I think the rod is made out of die cast material. And then right here is the remote control for the LED light up function and the sound effects as well. And then right here, of course, the head of C-3PO, which is absolutely fantastic because of the weathering. And of course, last but not the least is the R2-D2 figure. I'd say absolutely beautiful, especially that weathering. So this one has a lot of weathering compared to the first version of R2-D2 Daika's version as well. Right, so that's pretty much everything included inside the box. So now we're gonna test the articulated function, the LED light up effects, and the accessories. Alright, I think that's it for the articulated function. Uh, it looks great, you know, it's pretty smooth. But one thing that I notice, you know, every time I pull out that third leg in the middle, it's kind of like uh, gives me some concern that, you know, your figure gonna tumble or, you know, drop because it's not aligned on the floor. So, I don't know, maybe uh, some QC issue or maybe it's really like that. Not really a big deal, but, you know, sometimes it really gives you some... You know, like again, concern like ah, uh, oh, my figure gonna fall, right? But yeah, anyway, I think you can live with that. So it is what it is.
And there you go for the LED light up function. I think it works really well. Uh, the light is really strong and the sound looks really good as well. And then those magnetic function on the arms, I think it looks so strong. Um, though, you know, you just have to like place it on the proper position because it might gonna, you know, stick to each other. And of course, it's gonna fall, you know. But yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun, you know, once you attach those arms. And of course, once you open the LED light function and the sound as well. Right, my final thoughts on this R2-D2 figure from the Star Wars Attack of the Clones Episode 2 20th Anniversary Edition, I'd say absolutely beautiful. It is a great looking piece. Definitely a must buy, you know, a must have figure to any Star Wars diehard fan out there, especially 1-6 collectors. However, there is a first version of this one, which is the deluxe version and the normal version. That one is much cleaner look. Uh, whereas this one has more red ring effects so you might gonna think twice if you need another r2d2 figure or maybe not but of course if you as i said if you're really a diehard fan you should really add this to your collection you know i think the only yeah i think the only difference between these two version again this one has more red ring effects and uh, it, it has some extra accessory which is the uh, the jetpack or that fire thruster effect with that stand and also that beautiful art box with that vintage look absolutely beautiful so you should really add this to your collection so it's a no-brainer that you have to add this to your collection especially if you order also the Padme figure and Anakin Skywalker young Anakin Skywalker okay and uh, the first version I think it's pretty much the same it also has that sound effects that LED light of function and accessories as well okay I think that's about it that's all I could say let me know your thoughts on this figure as well feel free to comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you in the next one peace